Right, here in the UK, it looks like we're coming out of lockdown after about, literally about a year, or well, probably even less. Um, if you're like myself, I'm not unable to go diving. For me personally, it's been nine months, um, and my equipment's just been stored in the garage. Um, and looks like maybe next month we're allowed to go diving. So I think this would probably be a good chance to actually go over your equipment and check that everything's in good work in order, um, especially in your own house or in your own, wherever you store your um, equipment, instead of being at the dive site and then doing your pre-checks and realize that something's going wrong. Um, especially when your equipment's, um, for example, in my garage, it can get very cold over winter, it was very cold. And maybe some salt deposits have been built up if you've not given your equipment a good clean. So in this video, what we're gonna do is just go over some basic stuff that you probably already know. Um, it might get you in the mindset to start actually looking for your, looking over your equipment. So what we're gonna start with firstly, if you have, is the, the cylinders. Um, I've got two. Um, so we're just gonna look over the cylinders and what to look for and what we need to check. All right, here's my cylinder. I think the first thing you should do has been over a couple of months is just to basically just look around your cylinders, just see its condition. Um, obviously there might be a bit of rust, but that just comes with normal being salt water. But you're looking at seeing if there's any dents, which there shouldn't be any dents if you've been well looked after. So just go around, just have a visual inspection of your, of your tank. And another thing as well, you should probably look at, just look last time your inspection dates um, last time when it's been pressure checked and if it's still in date for internal um, internal inspections because again if you've left it for a few months you don't like forgot all about it just check that everything's in order because again you don't want to get down the site and you realize it's expired here you're looking just any built up salt deposit you can actually remove this if you wanted to uh, the handle and have a look, look around see if there's salt deposits any very severe rust. This is a pretty new tank, so it shouldn't be and should be any, any issues with this. If you don't find any salt deposits, you can get like a brush, toothbrush, warm water, and give it a good scrub. Here yeah, I've got a, a bit of tape to protect it from any debris, especially in my garage walking and working. Here, again, you know, you've got the O-ring. If you can, sometimes you can't really see it closely. You can take a picture of your, of your phone and then enlarge it and inspect it, see what you're looking for, it's really gone white. There's any tiny, tiny cracks in here, in the O-ring, and if you really want to, and you've got any spares, you can take it out and just replace it. But I said, mine's pretty good. And also you can take the valve thing off and inspect that and make sure it's all nice and tight. As I said, oh, inspection looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Another thing we needed to do, because sometimes this can seize up over time, is to see if we can open it, see if it's not solid, so I've got air in here, so it should work. So I'll know hiss. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And at the same time, by opening this, it just gets any debris out. So I'm happy with that overall. So yeah, that's a quick once over. It should be no major issues with, it, with your cylinders, especially if you've got them inspected. So that's the cylinders. All right, next we come to the check the regulators. Your eggs, your eggs. Again, quick visual inspection. Look at the hoses. Make sure all those soft, there's no cracks in them. Again, you've got covers. Remove these or push them back. Make sure there's no bit of a salt deposit, no severe rust. Again, check your, your hoses. Make sure no cracks. Quite flexible. And again, here, remove these because sometimes people grit the eggs. Don't forget to remove the covers in case if you don't remove it, it could be a collection of salt deposits. Remove that, inspect it if you're happy with that, just cover it back up again. Again, the same with the uh, cylinder. Have an inspection, have a good look again. You're looking for just any deterioration, you're looking for cracks, any wear and tear. These ones are. My rigs have been recently, I'll say recently, um, a month before the lockdown. So these have been properly serviced. So I know these are all in good order. Again, check that, make sure that's all, that's not stuck. Tenderly, they, they, they get stuck. Can shake it out, make sure there's nothing falling in there. 
No, oh, bruh. Make sure no mice in them, never run away. Again, BCD, or oh, if it's like me, got a dry suit, connect, connect some holes, get a lot of pushing back, make sure that's not stuck. A little rust, same here, that's all good, nice and loose. Any console there, make sure that's all good, There's no cracks, no developed any big bubbles. We might have banged it or dropped it. Check it that way. So, what we're going to do now, and again, you've got to cover, make sure once you finish with that, cover that up as well. So, this one is quite a quick over, not much really to look, to, to look at. Again, you could take the hoses off, but there's, there's nothing wrong, there's no need to. So, what we're going to do next is connect the regs to the uh, cylinder if you've got one, and we can actually actually make sure it actually works. Because again, you don't want to get to the dive site, do your pre-checks and you realize, oh, there's something wrong with it. It's gone all that way, it just spoil your day. All right, I've connected my regs to the cylinder. So what we're going to do is make sure the regs and everything else is working. So I'm going to turn on the air, make sure my console is facing downwards, in case it explodes. Nice and slow. So, fully open it. And turn it like half a turn or full turn back. I'll do it half a turn. Yeah, that's full. That's okay. Also, you can listen out for any, if you can, any air leaks, especially around the air, you know, connecting hoses. So I'm going to check the mouthpieces. Purge, that's good. Same with the other one. And actually taste it. <laughs> Funny noise. Let's try that again. It's okay, and at the same time, we should be doing that. Check the dial to make sure it doesn't flicker. I'll move anyway. Okay, next we're gonna check the the BCD. Alright, coming on to the BCD. Things look for plenty of clips. See the not brittle. You can clip them and we clip them. Check all of your clips. Nothing's frayed, worn off, worn apart. Make sure your Velcro, no, any debris from your last dive. Again, a quick visual inspection. Make sure that works. That's not come apart. All your 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 buckles and your all the important for connection pipes. If you got a quick release for your weights, check that. Check your pockets as well. Might have forgotten something from your last dive. If you like me and lucky you've got your cylinder with you. Inflate your BCD. Fully, fully inflate it. Like so. Okay. All we can do make sure the dump valve is working. Yep. And the other dump valves. as well so fully deflate it so that's all working well that's good another thing you should do is all inflate it as well in this case you've reached the surface surface and run it out of air make sure it works and also dump it as well Oops. Yeah, that's all good. So that's all working. If you wanted to, if you're not going to all inflate it. And if you want to, you could put it in the bath and check for any leaks. I've got to give it a good once over. So apart from that, that's really it. Unless you can really check on your BCD. This one's pretty old. Due to get another one. I have got enough money. But this is, it's done its job. Yeah, so that's the, that's the BCD. Yep. 
Show you again. Yeah. So that's the BCD check. Um, again, overall happy with that. Okay, next we're gonna check out the dry suit and then the fins, masks, and other additional stuff like your torches and your computer. All right, next we come on to the dry suit. Again, however you store your dry suit, you might fold it, put it back in its bag, or like myself, hang it. Um, again, it's been lying there for a couple of months. So again, we're looking over visual inspection. I think there's any tears. Shouldn't be any tears from your last dive. So you should have looked into that and got that repaired by now. The main things we should be looking at the cuffs. Make sure there's not worn away or just starting to deteriorate in any build up sort deposit. Put it back, have a good look in length of that. Have a look over the arm, back of the suit. The neck collar as well, that's quite important. The neck collar, make sure there's not a tiny tears that you haven't noticed. Put it slightly, see if there's any tears. Again, this is pretty a decent new suit. Your dump valves, let go crash. Same here, press. Make sure that works. And again, if you're like myself, you've got, you've got air at home, put your suit on and fully inflate it and make sure it actually works. Inflate it and dump them. Make sure enough, it's all in working order. Again, visual inspection. Check the groin area, nothing's worn away. You need pads, check the zips. Make sure that's all working fine. And your boots, so you look at the seal. If you've got boots like mine, check the seal. Look around the boot as well. Who knows, going down to the wherever you dive, it might have come, stones might be embedded or glass. Just check the sole of, of the boot. And have a look at the cuffs, look at the arms. Turn the suit over. This is the important part. Again, look at the back of the suit. Quick visual inspection. Shouldn't take too long. Most important is, is, is the zip. Look at your zip. Before storing it away, you should have really actually um, waxed your zip. This is quite a good zip. This has been waxed. Different variations. What they say, people say zip up the zip. Don't zip the zip up in storage. Well, I'll leave mine like this. So check your zip. Give it a, so a wax, go up and down with the wax, uh, sorry, with the, with the zip. Make sure it's not really stiff, tagging. We can internal, look at the valve inside of here as well, if you see. It's protected. Check that. As I said, if you've got that pop, yeah, get your suit on, fully inflate it. Get someone to zip you up, and fully inflate it. Make sure everything's in good working order. Again, a really important piece of kit, especially where I dive. It's not cheap either. Yeah, so that's a dry suit. Very quick and easy for inspection. And pull it afterwards once you've had a good look. Put some talcum powder down there. Ready for your next dive. Gives it a bit of protection as well. So that's the dry suit. All right, next we come on to our uh, fins, not flippers. The fins, again, these are quite hardy. Should have, shouldn't have any issues with these whatsoever. Um, like me, I've got springs. Again, make sure the clips are really tight. It's not going to come out. You can clip or unclip them. Expect the spring. You're looking for everything else with, with the diamond salty water. Any corrosion. Give it a good pull. Yeah, pull that back and forwards. That's, that's quite good. These are really good, tough fins. And I've got, if you've got the other pair, Again, what you're really looking for is exactly the same thing, the clips and here the rubber. Make sure that's not very brittle and starting to see cracks because you don't want to put your fin on and then it just, the minute it just snaps on you. Because that's, if you don't have a spare one, that's your whole dive site, uh, your dive over and done with. Again, a very quick inspection here of your fins. Really quite tough, hard wearing. Yeah, there you go. That's very easy, easy and done, very quick. 
So that's your fence. Next, if you've got one, or you should have one, is your weight belt. Again, it's not the same with the BCD, and you're just looking at the the clips. Make sure everything's good working order. Can quick release buckles are working and not broken, not fragile. And who knows? Maybe you need to adjust the belt, especially with the lock turn. You might put on weight. Put to get that on, you might need to adjust it in or out. Depends how good you are. Again, quick release. Oh. Say quick release. It's a bit difficult with one hand. And check that out. Yep, make sure you're happy with that. Again, just a quick inspection. Make sure nothing's wrong with it. That's my weight belt. We need to carry heavy weight, especially with a dry suit. Yeah, so that's your straps. Very simple, very easy. A bit of common sense, to be honest. Next, we come to the mask. A piece of equipment you might have had it stored again a few months. Get your mask out. Again, it's the same thing with everything else. Quick visual inspection. You're looking at the strap. Give it a good pull, so it's not warm. Straps here, look around the skirt, the nose. Again, look for salt deposit, a good mask. And probably just give it a good wash and warm soapy water, a good wash, give a good clean out. Again, it won't take long. And then once you finish, give it a good dry down and just store it back in its box, ready for use, hopefully in less than a month's time. Then you go and if you've got to carry a knife, again, it's the same thing. Make sure it locks, the straps are not fraying and coming apart, worn. Get your knife out. Inspect, I've got a bit of rust here, I'll just sand that down. And then if you've got a sharpening stone, sharpen it. And then once you're done, just give it oil. Next thing. Should I have one of these? Again, how often do everyone take this apart after a dive? Take the wheel. I wouldn't recommend taking the, every, the whole length out. Make sure everything's working. Clip. It's not brittle. Let's get the mask for it out. You notice know, how often we all take this off and wash it. It's been sitting there. Get it out. Again, visual inspection. And if you want, inflate it. I won't fully inflate it, but I can see it's working fine. If you've got a damp valve, dump it. Yeah. But this does feel a bit gritty, so I'll probably put this a good wash again. It has been washed, but once it's done, just roll it up and then throw it away. Ready for the dive. But again, this is quite important. Check the release as well, actually. Make sure it works. Get that out. Yeah, give it a roll. And that, again, that's quite quick and easy to check. Torches. Again. If you're not using your dive torch for some time, it's just been it's just been lying there. Hopefully you've taken your torch apart. And what I mean by that is taking the battery out. Because you don't want this left in here, because some batteries are just expand and just deteriorate and it just ruins the internal workings of your torch, especially if you've got a really expensive torch. So hopefully you've taken that torch out and here you have some of them, well should have most of them, have oil rings again. Again, inspect the oil rings and then you can like silicon spray and oil them up and check and then i will recommend get your battery and give it a fully charge you know they might have lost charge and won't recharge again there's some batteries that have a memory on them that just won't charge after a period of time if they're totally flat so fully charge your battery and get your and try your torch make sure it all works again just remember how it works full beam short beam yeah so try your torch obviously it's got no battery in it yeah if you've got a thing, a cord, try it, make sure it's tight. Yeah, 
charge all your uh, batteries. I mean, like your flashes on your cameras or even your camera. You should get all the batteries out if you're not using them for anything else. Get them fully charged and make sure it's working, especially with the camera. Get used to the uh, function of, of your camera. What button does what? And that really applies so you can dive watch as well. I mean, it's been months since I've been using my watch. Is the battery still working? Does it need charging? What button does what? Yeah, just play around. That's what I would play around with it. Because honestly, about a month or hopefully less than a month, it will be time to go diving. Right, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, decided to make this video um, just to sort of get people and myself actually in the mindset of uh, checking our dive gear, especially here in the UK as the lockdown restrictions are starting to ease and by the looks of it, and maybe a few weeks we can actually get back to diving. Um, so if you enjoyed what you watched, uh, give us a thumbs up and we appreciate it. If there's anything I've missed or probably said something wrong, um, put it in the comments, but, uh, please be polite. Um, and again, if you're interested in uh, my channel, um, once I get, uh, get back to diving, I dive around Scotland and hopefully overseas soon as well. And I'll be uploading more videos. Um, yeah, so subscribe and hit the bell. Um, so I'm going to get diving. Enjoy it while we can um, and safe diving.